First, remove the two rubber pads on the back of the device. And then remove the two screws inside. Then we need to remove one screw here. After removing this screw, we can remove the device's battery. After removing the battery, there are four screws inside that need to be removed. Now we can open the shell of the device. And before we touch the main board, we need to wear an anti-static wristband. There is a screw under the silicone pad on the coil here, and we need to remove it. Then there are three ribbon cables here, and we need to press the bottom main board to remove this small PCB board and coil together. There is also a screw that needs to be removed here. The display is in this position. We need to tear off the back glue. Then use an electric soldering iron to remove the ribbon cable of the display. The temperature of the soldering iron needs to be Adjusted to 350 do. And then take out the main board and turn it round. Heating the display with a hot air gun can make it easier to remove because the display is glued to the main board with double sided adhesive. Set the temperature of the hot air gun to 300 do C. Tear off the double-sided adhesive sticker of the new display. Stick the new display to the display printing position on the main board. Do not exceed the border of the display printing position. And then tear off the protective film of the display. Pay attention to the display's ribbon cable to be printed on the main board solder pad. Then use a soldering iron to fix the ribbon cable first. And then add tin to drag solder. Be sure that the ribbon cable cannot be short circuited. Use board washing water to clear the solder joints. And the adhesive tape will stick the solder joints together to complete the process.